We'd like to say hello to Cody Ray on my right. Cody is 19 and from uh, Taunton. Is that correct? Yep, from Taunton. Correct. And on my left, Dr. Leslie Lehman. She is the uh, Pediatric Stem Cell Transplantation Center at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Now, Thank I hope you. you're looking at this as an audition. You may not <laughs> recognize this young man, but maybe if you've been at the ballpark, you might have heard his voice. From time to time, he's done some in-park announcing here at Red Sox games. How'd that happen, yeah. Cody? Well, it's always uh, been on my bucket list uh -huh. of things to do, um, you know, ever since I was little, uh, you know, growing up watching the baseball games and stuff, and I've always been a baseball fan, and, um, you know, after, um, you know, I, I was diagnosed, you know, uh, back in 2011. With leukemia? Yeah, um, CML to be exact, which is a type of leukemia. Um, we made some phone calls, my, my mom helped out. Um, my friend's mom helped out, and, um, you know, they got me in. And I was supposed to only announce two innings uh, that game. Mm -hmm. It was a game in July. I believe it was July 27th against the Blue Jays. And um, they ended up keeping me in for the whole game. Wow. Really? So, yeah. So, um, so and then they done something right. And then they <laughs> ended up calling me back after that. <laughs> so uh, ever since then, you know, they, they, they still asked me to do it. So. Let's hear your best you, uh, uh, introduction yeah. of uh, Edwin Lee. and Carson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's have Ellsbury lead off, shall we? All right. <laughs> Leading off for the Boston Red Sox, Jacoby <laughs> Ellsbury. Good. You want to get into broadcasting? Yeah. Yeah. I, ever 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 since. Hey Minahan, little... take a hike. <laughs> <laughs> take a hike. We'll get Cody in here. Yeah. Uh, doctor, tell me about CML. Oh, CML is an interesting disease. It's, it's relatively rare in children uh, and becomes much more common in adults. And in some ways it's been the poster child because everyone who had CML up to about five years ago needed a stem cell transplant to be cured. Mm -hmm. And then Brian Drucker, who had trained at Harvard for a while and then is, is now out in um, Oregon, came up with a drug called Gleevec or Matnib, which is an oral drug and is effective in almost all cases of CML, but not all cases of CML. And so now CML has become a bit of a, you know, it's like, oh, you have CML, you just have to take a pill forever. Right, right. But there are still subtypes of CML like Cody had that seem to be more aggressive that still need a stem cell transplant to be cured. And now he's, you know, he's in the small elite set uh -huh. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that all right, for, transplant. For the uninformed, explain this to me like I'm a five-year-old. Tell okay. me what a stem cell is, <laughs> okay. what it does, and why it's beneficial. Well, sweetheart, a stem cell... <laughs> 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 oh, so a stem cell, we're talking in our world about hematopoietic stem cells. Oh, and you they, lost uh, me now. Uh, yeah. and, and you couldn't spell no, it. No, no. You don't even try. Um, so they are they're cells that reside in the bone marrow of everybody, and they're the granddaddy cells, and they give rise to all of the cells that your bone marrow makes, which are red cells, white cells, and platelets, which okay. keep you safe from infection, keep you from bleeding, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And so for a transplant, what we do is we have to kill all your stem cells and then replace them with someone else's. Cody was lucky to find a, a volunteer unrelated donor. Mm. And like the telethon, we rely so much on the kindness of strangers um, and so a donor was a match for Cody and gave his stem cells and we gave Cody chemotherapy and radiation therapy and then replaced his stem cells and thus his immune system with, with somebody else. Do you, do you understand everything that's he happening? He totally understands. Oh yeah. Just because you, you don't. Be, no, no. Be, I mean it sounds like a bunch of you know it's a whole different vocabulary yeah. that you know myself and my family ended up learning and we had to learn it to understand it right um you know because these words came into our lives every single day for almost two years and you know they're, they're still you know we're still learning new words to this day so yeah